I'm just testing how far we can push GPT-5 codex and how we can actually access this amazing AI model for cheaper cost because officially this AI model costs around $1.25 per million input tokens and $10 per million output tokens. I'm testing this AI model today. I'm using it through Kilo Code. Kilo Code is just like an open source AI agent that you can install inside VS Code. So I just gave it the most difficult task that I can give to any other AI code editor out there. And a lot of AI models actually have failed this task. So basically I asked to create a 3D Rubik's Cube simulation. So this is our 3D Rubik's Cube simulation that it just built in first attempt. Let me just run it quickly. So if I just click on this scramble button, so now you can see it is scrambling this 3D Rubik's Cube. And also you can see the size of this Rubik's Cube is three by three. Now, if I just click on solve, so now it is going to take total 19, actually 20 moves to solve this 3D Rubik's Cube simulator. So now we can see it has just solved it. So a lot of AI models out there actually failed this task to create a functional fully functional 3d rubik's cube simulator in first attempt but gpt5 codex actually finished this task in first attempt the most interesting thing here is the cost you can see i'm using it through kilo code and you can see i have already selected gpt5 codex and here you can see it costs only 0.55 dollars per million tokens but why it cost 0.55 dollars per million tokens while officially on something like open router or any other official providers it costs around $25 per million input tokens. So the reason for this cheaper cost is prompt cache utilization. Now prompt caching is actually an AI optimization technique where frequently repeated parts of a prompt like system instructions or reference documents are stored and reused instead of being reprocessed with each new query. So not all of the AI models out there actually support prompt caching. So GPT-5 does support that. So that's how we are able to consume less tokens and ultimately we are able to drop the cost as well. And you can see on average per request actually cost only $0.0476 which is like super cheap. So that's how you can use one of the finest models out there for coding in cheaper cost. And you can see GPT-5 codex has 400,000 contacts, which is really good in terms of solving complex engineering tasks. And for the coding task, I think 400,000 context is good enough. On contrary, if you're looking for an alternative of GPT-5 codex, so the, the most reasonable option is actually out there is Claude 204.5. This is really good AI model for coding. In fact, I use for almost all of my coding tasks, I use Claude Sonnet 4.5 but I use it through augment code. So this is augment code and augment code actually allows me to use it for like as much as I want. But if you want to use it through open router or maybe something like Grok, or maybe you want to use it directly through Kilo code. So it can be a really costly solution for you because it costs around $15 per million output tokens. So if you're using it as your regular day to day AI model for your regular coding task, so I think it can make you bankrupt. So then other cheaper options out there are actually the sensible cheapest options actually are the GLM 4.6. This is one of the good model out there for coding. In fact, very good model for coding is again a Chinese model and it costs around $0.50 per million input tokens and $1.75 per million output tokens. One problem that you'll see with GLM 4.6 is it does not support image input. So you can see I have GPT-5 codec selected here and you can see it sports images and also it sports prompt caching. But if I switch to GLM 4.6, let me just so this is GLM 4.6 and it does not support images and it does not support prompt caching. That means the per million input tokens cost will stay the same, which is $0.52 per million input tokens. There is another reasonable alternative and it's Kimi K2. It has 260,000 context window and it costs only $0.39 per million input tokens and $1.90 per million output tokens, cheaper than actually GLM 4.6. But the problem with Kimi is also the same. It does not support images and it does not support prompt caching. So the whole point of making this video was what is the best AI model for you for coding? So I will personally suggest you to use something like GPT-5 codex because it is one of the best AI model out there for coding and it is cheaper than Claude Sonnet 4.5 is and it is more capable than GLM 4.6 and Kimi K2 as well. If you are a beginner and you are actually confused about okay what should I choose what what sort of AI model should I choose so I recommend you just like buying a subscription of something like Cursor or Windsurf I don't know like how much progress Windsurf have made for last I think couple of months I have not really like heard anything from windsurf but just get a subscription from cursor or get a subscription from something like augment code because those kind of ai code editors actually gives you freedom to use clots 4.5 
for most of your day-to-day -day tasks. But if you are a regular user of something like Kilo Code or Klein or Roo Code, so then I think you can switch between different AI models based on your task that you're performing. So if your task is not very complex, you can use something like Kimi K2 or GLM 4.6. In fact, GLM 4.6 is really good model out there. But if you're just looking for a reliable AI model out there, that will not make you bankrupt. So I think GPT-5 Codex is a reliable option out there. I hope this quick video was helpful. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section. And I see you next video. Bye bye.